How to make 10K per month with an AI agency. I'm going to give you the services you can offer. I'm going to tell you exactly who you can serve and how to get started and get your first customers. So let's get started. AI is here to stay. It goes without saying. Um, there's a problem in the market that all businesses need AI, but they don't know how to integrate it properly. And they're scrambling around. They're trying to figure things out. And to be quite frank, business owners... They need specialists to come in and help them integrate this AI technology. Um, they don't want to be learning learning it themselves. It's not the best use of their time. The same with any kind of technology or any kind of implementation in a business. There's specialists out there that can do it way better than a business owner. So with this agency, I recommend doing it a productized agency. So not being a consultancy and you know having a meeting with your client and asking them what they want and coming up with a custom solution. I would create a productized service or set of services and target one demographic. So who, who that might be, it might be large businesses, e-commerce, local businesses, creators on YouTube, X, LinkedIn, um, consumers, um, like the, the end clients or the people just in the public and other agencies. So other agencies like SEO agencies, PPC agencies, marketing agencies, creative PR agencies, they can all benefit from some kind of AI integration. So let's go through some service ideas. These are very specific and you might be able to uh, get, get inspired by some of them or you know maybe just do one of them. Um, so the first one would be AI backlinks. So there's a lot of SEO agencies out there and they could probably benefit from some kind of automation or AI integration and that's where you could help. So Harrow was a good one. It's it's called something else now, but um, any kind of reactive PR where you can get AI to read an inbox. So read where these opportunities come in, and then AI can can distinguish whether it's a good opportunity or a bad opportunity. Create a pitch that's likely to get covered or likely to get responded to. Send that pitch and also look out for the responses and also automatically create a report on that. So that's completely automated. We've had this done before, um, a complete automated Harrow uh, setup. We don't use it for, for Fat Joe or our clients or anything like that. We, we purely did it as an experiment and it, it did pretty good. I think it could do even better with some tweaking. Um, another one would quite similar would be outreach, pitching and writing. So a AI system which goes out um, but you know it searches the internet uh, based on a set of parameters outreaches to those sites uh, pitches content like a guest post writes the guest post waits for the response and then reports on it as well so complete automated guest posting system it's hard but there's room there's room to do it so the setup for this um, you know you could you could offer this as a service standalone easy and then just sell per link or per campaign but also there's a, an opportunity to sell setups where you don't sell them the, the links or the campaigns you sell them the opportunity to integrate integrate it with their own system their own internal system so the setup for this might be 5k 10k probably a lot more than that actually um you know I've, I've gone quite low there but it's worth a hell of a lot more depending on the system that you create depending on how much time it saves them. And you'd be using something like Zapier or Make to make the connections. So it's, so it's uh, yeah, two, two ways to go at it. You're either doing the campaign route or the setup route. Um, and that's the same with AI content. So there's an AI content setup route where you set them up with a system where they can generate AI content really easily without learning how to use the tools. You could create an AI content self-service website. So they're just going on the website, asking for the content they want, and it spits out a an article based on their parameters. A bit like um, Surfer do, you know, and just sell it by the article. Um, another one would be like AI e-commerce descriptions. So the product descriptions for e-commerce sites, most of the time they, they've got hundreds, thousands of products they don't want to go in and make all these product descriptions. So you can create a custom service or a tool that does this for them. Um, 
and then an assisted content service. So content service where you're still using writers, but you've, you've got assisted uh, humans making the content a little bit better. AI lead gen, so this could be a setup, or you could sell the leads. Um, you could set up a whole system for a company to just go out, scour LinkedIn or scour the web or scour Twitter and do automated e emails or DMs, which are AI generated. So it's based on their st stuff in their profile or stuff on their blog, stuff on their website. That could be a setup for 5K, 10K um, with a 1K monthly maintenance uh, to tweak it and to make it better and to, to feed it more information. Um, or, or again, you could just sell the leads. And then an obvious one, which I've been going for a, for a while, um, chatbots. So obviously there's so many websites out there with um, chat systems and they've got people running it. Now, AI can actually do just as good a job if you feed it all the right information, information from the website, information from previous um, help, uh, help ticket, um, information from you know previous emails. Um, I think a setup for this would be something like five to ten k, but also that you could have a maintenance to keep feeding it more information as as more information comes in. You could also do, you know, a SaaS based on based on this. There's there's some out there, um, but there's some options here to uh, to go at. More ideas. Uh, I haven't really looked into all of these, but video. There's something that could be done with video. You know, taking blog posts, for example, and convert them into video based on a based on the the context of the the blog post. Create a video off it. Social, so creating more social posts based on how that person has wrote their last social posts. Um, analytic, analytics and data, so making you know complex data, complex spreadsheets, and converting that into instructional. Um, I don't know, actionable um, items so it can really make sense of the data instead of going through analytics and stuff like that. You know, GA4 is really hard to use. Imagine if you could have a uh, an AI interface where you just say, you know, what's what's some data that I need to know for, for last month or did the traffic go up or down last month? What was the conversion rate of this page or that page? Um, there's a custom option, so maybe you do want to go down the route of what do you want? What do you need? Um, going off the productized route, which could be a little bit higher end. Design is one. Um, so you could create some kind of um, service or software which could create logos just off the cuff. You just tell it what kind of logo you want. It just creates a logo. Maybe gives you five choices. And then if you want to go again, you get another five. Maybe you could tie that into some real designer. So... If they like a design, then it, they can customize it with real designer afterwards. So it gives a starting off point. And I've put Fiverr here as well because um, Fiverr have actually got some good ideas. They've actually got uh, an AI services um, category now. So you can go through and yeah, basically see a lot of these um, subcategories are service ideas. Um, so AI applications, chat GPT applications, AI websites, AI chatbot. Uh, there's a lot of art ones, music ones. So yeah, go and take a look at that Fiverr category for some ideas. Um, how would you do this? Well, the the obvious one is if, if you know this stuff, which, you know, you might be a developer, you might be handy with this stuff, learning AI, learning Zapier, learning how to connect stuff together, I don't think it's as hard as traditional programming. I think there's just a different uh, route to it. Um, maybe it helps to know traditional programming. Um, but the option two, which the one I would do, is you'd hire an AI wizard. You know, if you've got budget, I'd go and find one. Um, someone who's really killing it with this stuff, really doing it over and over again on Upwork. You can look at the history of the jobs. This is someone you want on your side. And then you go ahead and you get them to create a process for your one or two productized services, the only things you're going to offer, and perfect it together. Do it a few times for free for people. Perfect the process. Perfect every scenario, every extreme. And 
then you've got something on your hands. You've got a machine on your hands there where you can just pump out these solutions in a real, real productized fashion. Um, and going to market, I would set up a really simple website on Card. That's C A R R D. I won't worry about getting anything fancy up at this stage. And then getting your first clients, call DM people, do your first few jobs for free, get some testimonials, tweet about this stuff, tweet about the solutions you can do, go after one demographic, like I said, and you'll you'll get traction quicker. You're not for everyone, you're for this one demographic. Is it e-commerce? Is it for other agencies? Is it for SEO? Is it for design? Um, and then uh, another interesting one is Look for people who are hiring for AI specialists. Look for people who are hiring for AI consultants. If you go on um, Indeed or LinkedIn or some of the remote job boards, you might see people that are hiring for this stuff and just tell them, you know, we can do this for your your company. We can do X, Y, and Z. Does this interest you? So there you go. There's the ideas. There's how to go to market, get your first clients, let me know your thoughts in the comments, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.